What's up, everybody? This is Nomad coming at you. Uh, recently, I've been getting a couple of questions involving how I stream and what programs I use. Uh, right now, I stream using this awesome program called XSplit, which is uh, free for the moment since it's in its beta stage. You can go online and get it, uh, give some great feedback. And the reason why I use it is because it's freaking, well, number one, it's free. Uh, two, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, and it's got a lot of features. I stream uh, gameplay in 1080p HD with really nice audio quality with uh, relative ease. I mean, I guess StarCraft isn't the hardest to run game, but in general, uh, I have no problems. I have had no complaints so far. And, you know, uh, people were asking about it, so I just thought I'd fill you in. Uh, so, what I do with XSplit is it lets you take, you know, what it does, it just takes your screen and it streams it directly to uh, the internet, as uh, all streams do. Uh, it lets you go directly from um, from the program on to Justin TV, now Twitch TV, and it's that's freaking kick-ass. Like, I wasn't really sure what I was supposed to do when I logged on to... Uh, Justin TV, I was like, what's going on? What do I use? They showed me this dino broadcaster thing. I don't know what the hell was up with that, but it that didn't work out. But then my friend recommended me this program, and now I stream no pro with uh, no problems. So, um, XSplit's got a r lot of really great features, aside from the fact that you can stream in like high resolutions with great quality at uh, really easily. Uh, it's got a lot of different cool little things you can do. For example, like right here, this little overlay that I have, uh, that's one of its, um, honestly, it's like the coolest thing. I don't actually know how they do this, but what they do is you can set up, when you set up your screen, the the screen capture, you set up uh, your, your base screen. I have just my screen region, which is what would appear on my monitor. And then I set up another image, which is this little banner, as an overlay. Now, this doesn't show up to me in-game, but it does show up on the stream, which is really cool. So what you can do with things like this is a lot of players, when they're playing, they'll have a webcam in this area of them playing, which is awesome, and they won't have a big picture of themselves looking with their just mouths open, drooling, uh, looking like idiots. Uh, but they'll still, but the stream can see it, which is really awesome. So uh, you can use that for a lot of different things. For example, the block of this replay bar that I have up here. It just generally looks pretty unappealing, and you can use it to uh, instead get some shameless advertising, like I do. And that's pretty kick-ass. And, I mean, it didn't even take me two seconds. You just go to Add, and then you can add Media File, and then you just drop it, and then you just resize it to the way you want it. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do. Uh, another really cool one is that you can bring up uh, media clips. So, for example, let's say you're running a stream, and you want to run a commercial. Now a lot of people are going to have ad block on and that's no good because that just means you're going to slash commercial and they're going to get off scot-free. But what you can do instead is you can set up another screen capture uh, like I have right here and what it does is if you do it while you're um, while you're playing you can just let's say there's a, a pause in the action you need to you know run a commercial go to the bathroom or something you can just bring that up real quick. Have a quick little 30 second uh, thing play. Yeah, see that? Um, uh, just telling everybody about your your channel. And so that way when you commercial, and even if people have ad block, you still can do some promotion, which is kick ass. And another thing is if, for example, I need to go AFK, like I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom after this, what I can do is Oh, look, I'm going to leave the keyboard for a while, but I don't want to just pause the screen and leave something stupid in the middle of it. I think I'll switch to my background. Now, I have this cool little overlay up just showing, you know, my uh, my clan tag's ID. And uh, you, it's pretty cool. You can change the size. You can have it do a lot of different stuff, play music, stuff like that, like I showed you before the video. And it's all I do it all via hotkeys. So, like, I have all my hotkey setups under settings, and I change, uh, so while I'm in-game, I actually, um, while, like, while you're in the game, you can do it, and it won't show up for you, just for the stream, which is awesome. <laughs>
So like I'll be you know playing, I'll be doing my thing, and then I just control three, numpad three, bring up this cool little overlay. Control numpad two, bring up a little YouTube clip, or you know just go back to the stream. And that's freaking kick ass. Not to mention the fact that one, um, you can also do things like this, which I'm just this is so I'm just sort of frapsing it right now. Uh, and I don't know like how good fraps is. I actually don't use fraps. I use a uh, MSI Afterburner for my recordings, but you can do you can use it for uh, local recordings like this, like what I'm doing, uh, because I didn't want to you know just broadcast myself talking <laughs> about a program because uh, I'm about to go to sleep. Well, I guess not go to sleep, but do other shit. So um, yeah, exploit kickass program. You can broadcast to different channels. You can. Um, I don't know what this announce thing is, but I think you can like uh, send like it's it notes your tells your followers you're about to come on or something. You can check out your recordings. Uh, and the biggest thing is that yeah, as I said, this program's free right now because it's in its beta stage, uh, and they're making it better every day. Like uh, uh, from what I've heard, a few patches ago, it you know it didn't have some random features which are too advanced for me to use, but they've added in a bunch of new stuff. Uh, there have been like m fewer and fewer bugs as time goes on. For right now, I actually have never had any problems, but uh, a couple of people have said that they've had a little bit of issues, but uh, that they've been fixed. So if you guys need to stream, um, just just use XSplit. There's a bunch of different programs out there you can use, but they all honestly they don't they pale in comparison compared to uh, XSplit, and it's freaking kick ass. So yeah, uh, go check them out. Just Google it. I'm pretty sure it's like the first thing that'll pop up. Um, and yeah, give feedback and uh, let just, I guess tell me in the comments how you like it because uh, I freaking love it. So, <laughs> all right, everybody, have a good night.